Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I got a package in the mail here, and nope, it's no Puppet Master stuff. No Puppet Master stuff whatsoever. I'm actually taking a break from buying Puppet Master stuff. Um, however, though, this should be an LJN wrestling figure. One of the LJN wrestling figures uh, and such. Funny fact, uh, I did actually end up winning two somewhat rare figures. Today, I just won them off of a, a bid and such. Didn't think I was going to win them, but I actually did. So uh, tune in to whenever those come in the mail and crap. Um, as well, I got the whole steel cage set. Um, I'll be doing a video on that shortly here, and I don't know, or whatever. But yeah, I got the whole steel cage set for the Slingum Blingum ring. You know, and everything, which is cool. So, but, uh, anyways, we're gonna do an unboxing first. Then maybe here in a bit, or whenever I want to, I'll show you the Slingum Blingum ring. So, actually, this is just gonna be easier if I just do it on the bottom here. There we go. So instead of trying to take 55 minutes opening the fucking box. There's that. Now this one's not really one of the rare ones. I paid like $18 for this figure. But it's one I actually did not have in my collection, surprisingly. I know I said I have almost every freaking cheap kind of LJN figure, like the non-expensive ones that they made. Which is true. I, don't, I got, like, almost every non-cheap one they made, you know, like, the, the easier ones to find, I guess you could say. The easier ones to find. But, shockingly, this one I did not have. Now, there is a variance of this figure. Yep, this is the normal version. But, uh, there is actually variance of this particular figure. This is the normal version, the most easiest one to find. And, again... I did not have this version. Um, again, I'm not really big into variants and such. I'm just not. I'm not really big into variants. You know? Um, but I mean, if, if it's a true variant, like the red and white shirt Hogan, of course, you know, then yeah, I would get those. You know, I already have the red shirt Hogan. Um, I am planning on eventually getting the white shirt. It's just monies. You know, but anyways, though, yeah, this is one I'm, I'm surprisingly didn't have just until now. Uh, did not pay a lot of money at all for this, at all, like $18 if so. But, um, anyways, this is the Titan Sports 1986 LJN Corp Kirshner figure. Now, he's really mint. There's no problems on him whatsoever. He's, like, very mint. Um... There's a little bit of paint wear for the hat, you know, a little bit on the back of the hair, and just a tiny bit on the boots, but besides that, there's, like, no paint wear on him. But, uh, yeah, Corporal Kirshner LJN figure, you know, um, now they made one with a stubble, like a, kind of like a clean shaved face, and then they make, they actually made one where he has a full-on beard and a full-on mustache and everything. And that one's the most hardest one to find, actually, is the one with the full-on mustache and, and the beard. You know, um, they even, again, made one with, you know, a stubble, which is the face would kind of be not as smooth. It would kind of be, you know, like, kind of like clean-shaved, but, you know, you would feel, you would feel it, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is the normal one non-variant version. Again, I'm not paying $200 for a Corp Corpno Kirshner figure that has a fucking beard and, and shit. I'm not doing it. You know, and, and I'm not a big fan of variants like that either, in my opinion. And it has to be a full, true variant. Like, for example, the t-shirt the has to be, you know, instead of green, it has to be red, or it has to be black or something to be a full-on variant, in my opinion. You know, like the, like, example, like the, uh, Red shirt and, and white shirt Hogan. Like the S.T. Jones figure. One has a Hawaiian shirt. The other one has a uh, red shirt for, you know, uh, S.T. Jones. But uh, anyways, though, yeah, here we go. Corporal Kirschner, LJN figure. Finally have him in my collection. And for a lot of you people that actually did not know this, um, I guess before or maybe after his WWF run, 
he actually played as the, sorry, he actually played as the L as the um, the Japan Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, he played as the one of the Leatherfaces. If you didn't know that, yeah, he played as one of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherfaces in um, in Japan, known as I think Super Leather or something like that too. Um, if you didn't know that, so but yeah. Besides that, though, that, that's really it. There's nothing much to them. Again, I'm not big on crazy variants and everything, but uh, and as like, comment, subscribe. I got many more to come in the mail. I got, in my opinion, somewhat two rare figures coming in the mail. Um, I got the steel cage accessory coming. Uh, I'm not coming in the mail. I actually already got that. It's just I got to you know, I'll, I'll make a video or, or something of that eventually, the steel cage, um, playset thingy, I'm gonna have to get it all set it up, and, and, and put it, you know, set it up and everything, and, and get it all set it up on the ring there, then I'll make a video of that, but, yeah, however though, that's about it, at least now, when I do my LJN fun time matches, I can have steel cage matches now, you know, or videos or whatever, so, but, um, yeah. Besides that, like, comment, subscribe.